Hello, I'm Dean Whitford, Chief Executive Officer of DraftLogic. Today I'm going to show you how DraftLogic Electrical integrates with Conest IntelliBid to vastly accelerate your design and estimating process. Here in front of us we can see a completed design in DraftLogic Electrical. It's a single floor school in the 30 to 40,000 square foot range and we can see that we have all of our systems, for example the lighting, complete with branch circuit wiring, junction boxes, conduit connections, and whips from junction boxes to the f fixtures in the T-bar ceiling, all of our panel locations, the home runs, we also have our power systems to the same degree of detail with complete branch circuit wiring. So we've got all of our systems done. We've also generated completely automatically a full range of reports including a bill of materials. But I think what you're most interested in is seeing how the detail bill of materials can end up inside your electrical estimating software. This is a summary bill of materials. We also have panel schedules that show you exactly how many devices are connected to each circuit, what their location is, the amperage of the protection, and calculates the feeder for each distribution and branch circuit panel. So let's jump into Conest and Telebid. And I'll just show you in the count sheets that we have an empty job ready for use, job 21. So all of these count sheets are completely empty. It's just complaining about no panels. So this is a completely empty job, job 21. We'll go back into DraftLogic Electrical. Call up our report wizard. We have a report aptly named Export to IntelliBid. Let's check that off with a single click. Hit OK. DraftLogic Electrical goes to the IntelliBid database and gets a list of the available jobs. We'll select our job 21 and ask DraftLogic Electrical to export to it. So, what's going on now is DraftLogic Electrical is going through the job floor by floor. So since this is a single floor project we'll just have the one row in the count sheets. And for each floor it gathers all of the fixtures and an immense amount of data about them. Pushes it into the Conest and Telebid count sheets. It does the same for other devices, for fire alarm, for switch gear. It gets all of the detail about the panel boards. Uh, their feeders go into a different count sheet. And then we also have in the switch gear the panel schedules are fed in, the detailed panel schedules. And after that, finally the detailed branch circuit wiring. So for every interconnection on every home run group, every circuit, we have separate reporting for each interconnection so that all of your uh, wiring needs are pushed into the count sheets ready to make a complete estimate. This whole process takes a matter of a minute or two and once it's done we'll go back into Conest and Telebid and do some poking around and we'll see what we got. So the process is now finished. We didn't have any warnings. If there was any difficulties exporting any of the devices or connections into the count sheets we would have received a warning about it. No warnings though, so everything went just great. Let's go back into Conest and Telebid, into the count sheets, into job 21. So now we can see on the fixtures tab that we have a column for each fixture that was present in the drawing. We have a symbol similar to how that fixture appears inside DraftLogic Electrical. We have two numbers. The first number is the same number that appears in the fixture tags and in the 
uh, Luminaire Schedule and the Luminaire Catalog inside DraftLogic Electrical. So it ties the same number across to all of these sources. And then we also have the longer fixture code, which ties into DraftLogic Electrical's Luminaire database. When you're ready to do a takeoff on this, you can see even more information here. The manufacturer has been fed in, the catalog number, and in the notes field, some extra information to help you quickly choose the exact assembly to do your estimate. So that is the fixtures count sheet. On the devices count sheet, we find our switches, receptacles, small motors, heaters, that type of thing. Again, complete counts per floor. Fire alarm devices, we just have put a, a couple types of fire alarm devices in to show you that they are also pushed into their count sheet. For switch gear, we have a listing of all of the panel boards and similar types of devices. And here you can see we've saved you hundreds of keystrokes of typing to get this information in. We can also get the panel schedule for anything. So if we select one of these panels, it shows us the phase loading and wattage for each circuit. Into the branch circuits, panel R, we can now see color-coded what circuits have been combined for a home run. Circuit 13, 15, 17, there's the home run at the bottom row. A single interconnection that 15 is alone, and 17 has three interconnections where it's alone. So no duplication, everything is captured once and only once, ready for you to do the takeoff. The feeders, every feeder in the distribution has a line item for it, saving you hundreds of keystrokes here and mouse clicks to do selections. HVAC related motors, so any motor that had HVAC in any of the commenting or names is captured here, along with its feeder information. Non HVAC motors, which we didn't have any of in this sample drawing. Low voltage devices, just a couple types to give you an example, and same for data, just the data tell wall jack. So as you can see, we've pushed an immense amount of information directly into Conest and Telebid with only a few clicks. I didn't count, but it was one to select the export to Intellibid, and then just a few more to select the job number and send it off. And we ended up with the complete job pushed into Conest and Telebid. We hope this video has been of interest to you and invite you to contact us by uh, email, Skype, or phone with any questions you have. Thanks for your time.